All right, it's time. Another real estate market update. So what's been going on in Massachusetts for the last 30 days? So in Massachusetts, the average sales price, 731,000. Average list price, 737,000. So when you crunch all the numbers, it comes out to about asking, but as you can see, you know, they're slightly going a little below asking. You know, and what's the average days on market? Average days on market, 47. So that's going up. So you can see properties are staying on the market longer, and now they're starting to go slightly below asking. And you know, a few categories that jumped out. First of all, for days on market, let me jump look into this category real quick. So for days on market, from the five million to nine point nine million dollar range, there was five homes that sold in the last thirty days. And their average days on market was 162 days. So that is bringing up the days on market, you know, slightly. But when you look across the board, a lot of the categories or price points are, you know, 40, 39, 52, 54. Um, so the 47 days is pretty accurate for what's going on um, as far as days on market. Uh, but I did want to point out that one category because that did, you know, that did obviously bump it up a little bit. Um, so let me just look at some of the categories that are jumping out to me. So one category, um, and it's like a flip home, you know, 100 to $149,000 range. There was eight homes that sold in that range, and they went on average 14% above asking. Uh, but all the other categories for the flip homes, you know, were all 8% below, 1% below, 12% below. So just that one category, for whatever reason, you know, I'm not sure, but 100 to 149,000, um, those are going well above asking. And there was eight homes, so it's not just like one or two homes we're talking about. Um, as far as the other categories go, um, typical trend kind of, uh, but maybe a, a little bit more on the higher end. So we'll take a look at that. So, you know, from 250,000 all the way up to 1.5 million, pretty much, um, you're looking at asking 1% above, you know, right in that range, right on average. But once you get above that 1.5 million, now you start to see it, you know, go a little bit below asking. And it's kind of the trend like we were talking about before, but before it was just like the really high end homes. Now you're looking at, you know, over 1.5 million, you know, that it starts to drop. And it's only a little bit, but when you're talking these numbers, you know, it can be substantial dollars. So you're talking 1% below, 1%, then 2%, then 4%. And then that same category we talked about that had the high days on market, the $5 million to $9.9 .9 million, um, the five homes there, they went on average 13% below asking. And then the category above that, $10 million to $99 million, um, there was only two homes in that category, and they went on average 12% below asking. So, you know, some of the trends you can see, things are slowing down in Massachusetts, and, you know, you're starting to see some deals. You know, you're still right there at asking, but you are starting to see, you know, things are starting to go a little below asking, you know, so it's an opportunity if you're a buyer and it's something to keep in mind if you're a seller. All right, what about Bristol County? What's been going on in Bristol County for the last 30 days? So Bristol County, average sales price, 518,000. Average list price, 520,000. So when you crunch the numbers again, it comes out to about even, but you can see slightly, you know, slightly below. So same thing that you're seeing in Massachusetts. Um, and the average days on market in Bristol County, 50 days on market. So days on market, you know, have been creeping up and they continue to creep up. A um, couple categories that stood out to me, um, the 350 to $399,000 range, there were 17 homes in that range and they went on average 2% below asking. So when you look at it, it might not sound like a lot, 2%, but, you know, the average list price in that category was 381000 and the sale price was 373000 So, you know, it's not crazy money there, but that's, you know, a little bit, you know, 2% might, you're trying to put it into dollar speak. Obviously, it's going to be different in every category, but just to give you an idea, you know, of how that translates to dollars, you know, for that category. But right above that category, when you go to 400000 you know, all the way up to 699,000, that whole range, you got 2% above, 1% above, 1% above, 1% above. 
and then after that range, once you hit, hit over 700,000, um, now you start to see the trend going down a little. Now you're talking 1% below, then 2% below, 1% below, um, and then you get all the way to you know a million to 1.5 million, and that's about even right there. So, um, so it creeps back up a little bit. So, you know, kind of that sweet spot if you're looking to sell, you know, is that 400 to $699,000 range. Um, and if you're looking for a deal, anything below 400,000 right now on average is below asking. So, so now's the time if you're looking into that category, you might want to, you know, really dive into it um, and keep that in mind when you're putting your offers in. All right, what about Rhode Island? So Rhode Island, the average sales price, 556,000. And average days on market in Rhode Island, 38 days. So things are moving faster in Rhode Island. Um, and you can see what the average is, 556,000. And what about Florida? So Florida, average sales price, 454,000. Average days on market in Florida, still high, 57. But as you can see, the Massachusetts numbers are now rising and they're, you know, Florida's still rising too. So they're both rising, but the, the gap is not as much as it used to be, you know, just a few months ago. And while we're talking about Florida, I always like to talk about Orlando. Orlando, average sales price, 448,000. And average days on market in Orlando, 42 days on market. So the same trend we've been seeing, you got 57, you know, for Florida, and then Orlando by itself, only 42 days. So things move a lot faster in the Orlando area. Um, and that, you know, quite a substantial sample size there. You got 741 listings um, that this data was collected from for the last 30 days. All right, now let's talk to the investors out there. So for multifamilies, you know, the average sales price in Massachusetts for the last 30 days, 750,000. Average list price, 759,000. So again, same trend you're seeing um, for single family homes in Massachusetts is things are going slightly below asking. When you crunch the numbers, it comes out to 1% below. Um, but you can see, you know, you're talking about $9,000 difference, you know, on average, you know, for multifamily homes. And days on market, 43 days on market for multifamily homes. And some of the categories that jumped out to me, um, you know, some of the flip homes again. So, and some of these aren't flip homes because it, it trends up a little higher, but let's start off. So 200,000 to 349,000. So all the, the price points in those categories were all 3% below asking. You know, and you're talking, you know, nine homes from 200 to 249,000, I'm sorry. 11 homes from 250 to 299 and 21 homes from 300 to 349. And all of those, all on average, 3% below asking. So that's kind of the sweet spot. If you're looking to buy, you know, you might be able to get a deal in that area. Uh, but then as soon as you jump up to 350000 all the way up to pretty much a million, you're looking at 1% above, 1% even, 1% above, 2% above, 2%, 2% even. So everything is either even on average or above you know, from that range, from the three, 350 to pretty much a million. But as soon as you get over a million, a million to 1.5 million, 33 homes in that range, multifamilies, on average, 4% below asking. And then the, the price point rate above that, 3%, you know, below. So if you're looking for a deal there too, you know, on the flip side, if you're looking for a deal, you know, you're looking to put an offer in on a property in those categories, you know, there's a little bit, you know, of a deal you might be able to find in that area. Um, and it continues just to get uh, higher and higher. Well, I guess lower and lower below asking, right? So uh, when you keep going with that, you know, the only category that was asking, you know, in, in the high end of the properties was 2 million to 2.49 million was about even. As soon as you get above that, 2.5 to 3 million, you're talking 6% below, you know, the category rate above that. You know, it was one percent below, but then when you jump down to four million, and this is only one home, so it was one home that was listed for five point one four nine uh, million, and it went for four point eight million, and that was seven percent below asking. So, you know, just some things to look at with the multifamily homes. All right, what about Bristol County for multifamily homes? So in Bristol County, the average sales price five hundred and eighty-four thousand. 
Average list price, 585000 So you're right there. You're getting about what you're asking for. Yeah, slightly below, but, you know, you're right there. You know, average season on market, you know, compared to what we've been seeing for numbers, really good, right? 29 days, that's it on market. So things are moving fast in Bristol County, a lot faster um, than, you know, throughout Massachusetts. So, and that's based on 51 multifamily properties that were sold in the last 30 days in Bristol County. Some of the categories that jump out to me from 300,000 to 349,000, there was four homes in that category and they went on average 9% below asking. So what does that look like in dollars? You know, average sales price was 321 and the average list price was 362. So they are asking 362 and on average they're only getting 321. So, um, and then if you go to the category right above that, you know, 350,000 to 399,000, you know, 12% below asking. So, um, and then the category above that, 3% below, 1% below. So, you know, yeah, overall looks good as far as about even, but you could definitely get some deals in those categories. Um, and also, you know, if you want to look at the flip side, if you're selling, once you hit 500,000, that's when you're seeing the numbers really jump up where you're getting above ask. So from 500,000 to 599 on average, 2% above. And that's based on 16 homes. So not just a couple there. Um, and then the category right above that, you know, this was the best sweet spot as far as selling goes. You got 600,000 to 699,000, 12 homes in that range. And they all went on average 3% above ask. Um, and then the next category after that, 700 to 799,000, 2% above asking. But then again, once it starts to creep up a little higher from 800,000 to 899,000, now there's only two homes in this category, but 5% below asking on average. So just something else to think about, you know, and then when you get into the 1 million, I won't even really get into these, but 1 million to 1.5 million is only one house. That went 4% below asking. So, so those are the categories in Bristol County for multifamily. What about Rhode Island for multifamily property? So in Rhode Island, the average sales price, 542,000. And that was based on 73 multifamily properties that sold in Rhode Island in the last 30 days. All right, let's dive into my hometown. So for my hometown, start off with Swansea. Swansea, average sales price, 362,000. Average list price, 365,000. So when you crunch the numbers, it comes up 1% below asking, uh, but you're pretty close you know, to asking, but slightly below. Average days on market in Swansea, high also, 54 days on average in Swansea on the market in the last 30 days. And, you know, there's only been five properties that sold in Swansea in the last 30 days. So a couple categories. I know it's only five homes, so I'll dive in real quick. But the one home from, you know, that was the 250 to 299 range, um, you know, it was listed at 313. It sold for 295. So it went for 6% below asking. Um, the next category after that went for about asking. And then uh, you got three hundred fifty to $399,000 range. One home, again, but 4% below asking. So from three fifty dollars to three ninety nine, dollars they were asking three ninety five, dollars and they got three seventy eight. dollars And then, you know, the category, the one category if you're a seller that was hot, but it was only one home. It's tough with these numbers. But, you know, they listed it at, 439 and they got 459 so they got five percent above ask so you know a little bit of a mixed bag but overall about asking maybe slightly under in swansea all right what about seacock so a seacock average sales price 580,000. average list price 585,000. so one percent below asking in seacock also so very similar to swansea and what we're seeing you know in massachusetts average days on market in seacock High also 59 days on average on market in Seacock, and that's based on 13 homes in Seacock. So I'm not gonna dive too much into it, just one category jumped out. Um, that's the 350 to $399,000 range, just like it jumped out in Swansea. Um, that range, you know, there was three homes and they went for 4% below asking. So they are asking 399 on average, and they get about 381. So that range, for whatever reason, 
um, is just not selling above asking or even at asking. Um, so the trend there, if you're looking to put an offer in again, if you're a buyer, that's a great category, you know, so far in my hometown areas, if you see one, you know, that might be an area where you can, you know, play around with the numbers as far as your offer goes. All right, what about Somerset? So Somerset, average sales price, 444000 Average list price, 440000 So in Somerset, it's actually going a little above asking. So it comes out to 1% above. That's based on 10 homes. Average days on market in Somerset, only 20 days. So Somerset, you know, things are moving fast in Somerset. And you're getting slightly above ask. So good things happening in Somerset if you're looking to sell. Um, you know, I'll dive in a little bit because these are averages, right? So like we talk about. So there's some outliers in there. So the real key category in Somerset right now, you know, this one really jumped up. So from 400,000 to 449,000, 5% above asking and that was based on five homes so that one category is what really raised the bar because if you really dive into Somerset even though the numbers look good on the outside the other categories you know 350 to 399,000 was 6% below asking so again just like the other two towns you know from that whatever whatever's going on with that range 350 to 399,000 Things are just going below asking in that range. And then if we jump up over that range that was 5% above, we jump over that and we go to the 450 to 499, 6% below asking. And then you go up the other range above that, 500 to 599, 5% below asking. You know, and then there was one home from 600 to 699,000 that went 4% above asking. Um, so then again, that helped bring the average to what it was. But you know, you can see it's a little bit of a mixed bag, but overall, the big thing in Somerset is how fast things are moving. I mean, 20 days on market, right now with what's going on everywhere else, that's a really good number. All right, so Dighton. So what's been going on in Dighton? So Dighton, average sales price, 535,000. Average list price, 513,000. So in Dighton, 5% above asking is the average. And that's based on four homes. So not a crazy amount of homes, but based on four homes, um, but every category obviously was above asking. So um, the one that really jumped out was the one home that was in the 400 to $449,000 range. That house was listed at 375 and it went for 417. So it went for 11% above asking. Um, and then the other two categories were 3% above and 3% above. So, um, so that's what's been going on in Dighton for the last 30 days. All right, so let's jump over to Rehoboth. So in Rehoboth, the average sales price, 623,000. Average list price, 637,000. So on average in Rehoboth, 3% below asking. And the average days on market, 74 days, 74. But as always, that's an outlier, right? So, um, you know, from the 900,000 to $999,000 range, uh, there was two homes and they were 155 days on market on average. Um, so when you look at the other category, it's 61 days, 27 days, 45 days, 61. So that 74 is definitely affected a lot by those two homes because it was only eight homes total that sold, you know, in the last 30 days in Rehoboth. All right, let's jump over to Barrington, jump over to Rhode Island. So Barrington, average sales price, 987,000. And that was based on seven homes. And then Bristol, Rhode Island, Bristol average sales price 661,000 and that was based on 10 homes. All right, and then we got Warren, Rhode Island. So Warren average sales price 692,000 and that was based on five homes. So usually Warren, we're seeing, you know, not too many properties sold, not that five's a lot, but that number is, you know, slightly higher than what we've been seeing in Warren, you know, in recent months. All right, so that's a wrap on this month's real estate market update. As always, if you got any questions, Feel free, no matter how small the question is, don't worry, that's what I'm here for. You know, just give me a call, send me a text message, whatever's easier for you. Other than that, see you at the next one.